As we live our lives, we are going down a road. This road is has its ups and downs, and its bumps and its turns, but we have all chosen this road to define how we live our lives. It is our moral compass of sorts. We can choose this road, but there are only two roads to choose from. One is filled with reward. Let's turn to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19 reads, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. We can also look at Matthew 7, verse 14, where we will be spending most of our time. It reads, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be which find it. The other road that we can choose leads towards destruction. If we look at the verse before that, verse 13, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way which leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. We can also look at Mark 16, 16. Mark 6, chapter 16, verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be destroyed. Let's look again at Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, which leadeth to destruction, and many there be which find it. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Unfortunately, many choose the life of sin that leads to destruction over the assurance that uh, Christians have towards uh, eternal life in heaven. Let's look at John chapter 10, verses 27 and 28. John 10, 27 through 28. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. This, this road will have many trials that we must overcome and persevere through the, up, the bumps and the ups and downs. Let's look at James chapter 1, verse 12. James chapter 1, verse 12. It reads, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promise to them that love him. We know that we have a reward, this crown of life at the end of our journey, if we would persevere and go through these trials. Perhaps you have not persevered through these trials, or you have not started down the road that will lead to the crown of life. If you do not have this assurance of the reward, you must first hear the word of God, Romans 10, 17. For the faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Then you must believe in that word. Let's look at John 8, verse 24. John 8, verse 24. It reads, Judge not according to the... Or, wait. It reads, I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. We must then repent. Acts 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So then confessed, confessed that Jesus is the Son of God. Matthew 10, verse 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. And then we must be baptized, as we see in Acts chapter 22, verse 16. 